Hey, what's happening guys? So Leeds United have completed the signing of 18-year-old defender Diogo Montero. First and foremost, he's not an American, which makes a nice change in this day and age. He was born and bred in Switzerland, but has chosen to represent Portugal on the international stage. Given his contract was set to expire at the end of this campaign, Leeds have landed themselves a potentially world-class talent for next to nothing. The kid was actually supposed to arrive at the start of the window, but since Premier League clubs can no longer sign players under the age of 18 from foreign leagues, Leeds decided to wait until his birthday, which happened to fall on January 28th and he's now, quite literally, come of age. While early suggestions are that Montero will initially link up with the under-21 squad, there's also an outside chance he could be fast-tracked to the first team following Lorente's departure to Roma. After all, Montero does have seven first-team appearances for Servette, alongside 36 caps for Portugal's youth sides, who he also currently captains, which is mighty impressive considering this is the best crop of youngsters the country has ever produced. The Swiss club themselves are no mugs either. They play in front of 30,000 supporters week in, week out, and face Champions League regulars such as young boys on a frequent basis. A side that Montero coincidentally helped keep a clean sheet against just a few weeks ago. In regards to his style of play, Montero can operate both as a right and left-sided center half which is an underrated as well as overlooked trait that will only grow in importance in the years to come. He's a calm, cool and collected defender who is proactive in his pressing, comfortable in possession and incredibly athletic given his build. He has a reading of the game that goes well beyond his ears and recovery pace for the odd occasion that he does find himself out of position. Unlike players from yesteryear, you won't find him jumping or sliding into tackles, which, in all honesty, is the sign of a brilliant defender, as this quote from the best of them all in Maldini showcases. Furthermore, he's a great asset to have in terms of build-up play and is constantly looking to move the ball forward, whether it be through line-breaking passes or long-range switches of play. Overall, you have to give it to Leeds. They're making signings for the present but appear to be more focused on the future, which is a long-term vision that most attempting to survive in the Prem tend to avoid. As much as it pains me to say this, they're probably the most exciting team to watch in the Division 2, and I expect that to continue under this current regime. Cheers for tuning in as always, folks. Please do let me know what you made of this video down below, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have in mind. In case you're new to my channel, do check out the videos I've done on other lead signings so far, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.